community. My dad slept all night. Yep, at about 8.30, I gave him two Ativan. Um, that's supposed to help relax him, to help him with his breathing. And um, it also makes him sleep. So I held off um, for part of the day yesterday. Um, I gave him one throughout the day yesterday, and he slept pretty good with it throughout the day yesterday, and then last night when we had, um, another bathroom incident, which we're having every day now, and clean up, um, he finds it really difficult to breathe through that. So I save it and I give it him the, um, the Ativan at night now. I, I mean, I do give it to him throughout the day as he needs it, but I give him the two at night. And he slept until six o'clock this morning, almost six o'clock this morning, which is when he wakes up for his first set of pills, which, we are no longer giving him his six o'clock pills. That was Prilosec, and um, he doesn't really complain of the heartburn anymore. So the less pills we have to give him, the better. So we took that out of the schedule. Yeah. So, but I watched Ride with Norman Reedus last night. I think it happens to be a pretty good show, and I'm very impressed with it, and I will watch it again next week. Yeah. And I want to thank everybody for the comments on yesterday's blog that I've read so far this morning. Um, thank you all for understanding. This is a very, very difficult time. Um, cancer's horrible. And apparently, um, osteosarcoma, which is what my dad has, is one of the worst cancers. I'm not going to say it's the worst, but it's one of the worst. So, really sucks. So here I am, back in the living room. Haven't gotten anything done in here, but this is what I'm working on. I need to find homes for all this so that I can clear this room and then I could start finishing this room. That's what I'm gonna do. So guys, it is Monday afternoon, about three o'clock or so. Hospice just left. I know some of you have dealt with this type of situation already. Um, I don't get it. When my dad's awake, He's not breathing properly. He's in a lot of pain. But yet when hospice comes and does his vitals, everything seems good. So I just don't understand how he can be so sick and deteriorating so quickly, but yet his vitals and everything be okay the way they are. Basically, hospice is saying it can be any time now. They have increased his morphine. They've increased his dexamethasone. They've increased his Ativan. Those are the three main medications that he's currently taking. And basically what they're doing now is 
making him as comfortable as he possibly can be and sleep as much as he possibly can sleep. It still sucks. It still sucks. His mind's not altogether there right now. I just, I really, really don't get it anymore. The Cardinal's back. Let's see if I can get him. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? I'm not that close to him. I'm sitting on the porch and I'm zoomed in as far as I can go. I'd want to get closer. Let's see if I can get any closer for you guys. Be right back. All right, so I'm going into the bowels of my uh, house now. This is just another space. It's not. It's smaller than I thought it was, but. I'll be able, if once I get flooring into it, I'll be able to get stuff going. Now there was something written here that my memory, which is why I was so excited about this place, and it's not there anymore. It's gone. So, yeah, it was written in pencil on this ledge right here. It said, death is awaiting. So it's gone. Isn't that strange? Very strange. Well, whatever. It's time to put flooring in here and um, pull. I gotta pull out these old files. These are ancient files, and uh, so I can better stack them when I have a floor in there. As soon as I started walking toward him, he flew away. He flew away. He, his nest has to be somewhere close by, though, because I've seen him a separate several times since I've been back. So, he lives close by. I'll try and catch him again. But, yeah, it's kind of tough. I uh, didn't realize it um, until like two o'clock today that I hadn't eaten anything and hadn't taken my meds. Yeah. Um, Everything just kind of gets a little pushed to the side and a little crazy. And look at my hair. I am showering. Not getting dressed, really, because uh, I don't leave the house. Um, pa won't let anybody do anything for him but me. I have to be the one to give him his meds. I have to be the one to clean him and change him and everything. Uh, hospice has offered to send in help. Um, my dad won't let anybody touch him, so not even my mother or my sister at this point. So why send in a perfect stranger? He's not going to let them do anything. All they said is it could be any time now. This waiting game sucks. 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 I have a lot of spare wood, all plywood, to use as decking. So the attic space is just basically the um, ceiling over the bedroom, over my bedroom. And it's never been used because it does not, it, you'd be putting stuff right on the drywall on, uh, of the roof below, the ceiling below. So we gotta need to put some decking up there so it can, stuff can sit on it comfortably. We got all kinds of stuff. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be functional. It's not something anybody's gonna see. <laughs> he tries to catch it. <laughs> Can we go to the trampoline? Can we go to the 
<laughs> Do you see Coco trying to catch the water? Watch. Watch Coco. Okay. Ready? Woo! <laughs> Can we go in the room? Yeah, give me a second, AJ. Peanut, catch! He's like, what the hell are you doing to me? I'm going to try that. Coco, catch! Okay, I put decking in. I don't know if you could see it or not. And so I'm starting to put stuff into here. I can't see anything. And, uh, yeah, so I've got more space. Just got to figure out what's going to fit in here and uh, what I'm going to do with it. Well, guys, it's been another long, stressful day. And it's come to that point where I'm going to say goodnight. Um, never know from one day to the next what the status is going to be around here. Sorry I did not do my movie trivia. I'm not going to start that right now. Um, too much going on for me to do that. So um, I'll let you guys know when I am going to be able to get that started. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed everything that you got to see. I know it's horrible for me to say that. It's been such a depressing vlog. <laughs> um, but anyway, please give us a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, all that happy crappy stuff. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow.